history. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope. Assassin's Creed Origin. Assassin's Creed Origins is the ninth installment of the Assassin's Creed fran of the gaming series. And I have to say, I really do enjoy all these Assassin's Creed games. UNT was, like I said in my last video game review with Syndicate, I was very overwhelmed by Unity, and I was I was not on board for Origins when I first heard about it. I was like, Ancient Egypt, I mean, cool time period. Absolutely time, good time period. We, you could set multiple games set during the Ancient Egypt period because thousands of years, literally thousands of years of history right there. And Egypt is, and I love how, I love the timeline they chose for the Egyptian uh, period of history for this Assassin's Creed. And I like how it's called Origins. It is the origin of the Assassin's Order where the, instead of being called the Assassin's, this is really the origin of the Brotherhood. We see the origins of the Brotherhood from the from them calling themselves the Hidden Ones. And then the Templar Order, which they, we do not hear once in this game, to my knowledge, the Templars referring themselves as Templars in modern day or in past. In the ancient day, they were known as the or is as the ancient ones or the order the order of the ancients. That's what the Templar Order is in this day, and a lot, it's the same order. It's the it's the assassins trying to bring freedom, and the Templars are the the order of the agents is trying to maintain order, and the bring king characters like Julius Caesar and Cleopatra during the right at the end of the Julius Caesar time when he betrayed whenever he was getting ready to turn the Roman Republic into an empire, and you know we look at history. And a lot of historians, we look at, we look at the at the death of Julius Caesar, really brought really brought an end to the Roman Republic. And just because Julius Caesar died, does not mean the Roman Republic just kept going and kept going. No, once he died, it brought in Oct Octavius Caesar, who basically destroyed the, who basically created the Roman Empire. But that's a story for another day. Uh, I do like this game because it very felt refreshing to me compared to the other Assassin's Creed. It does not it has some of the same gameplay with the you know the synchronization, the eagle points, the hidden blade, but it feels refreshing. It feels very different. It feels a little more RPG ish to me than just an action adventure video game. And I do and then the character of Bayek. I thought Bayek was a very character who I, the whole idea of these two characters of Bayek and Ava or Arya or Aya, whatever her name was. It was their their bonded mostly over the death of their son, and then they just realized they can't be together anymore. It's just, it just, you know, we see that in so many times that when a parents lose their child, the couple never remain together. And I think the story does a great job of loss and everything. I just think the story of origins was good. And like I said, I just enjoyed the game. I love the historical stuff. I, I mean, who doesn't? And I liked how they introduced the tomb rainy to go into the tombs of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs and lords. I thought a lot of that stuff was really cool as well. So overall, Assassin's Creed Origins was a very good Assassin's Creed game. I love how they even implemented a little bit of the Ezio theme at the end, whenever they're talking about the Hidden Woods. Look, I really love this game, and I will probably play it again one day. So guys, have you played Assassin's Creed Origin? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.